so hello everyone again and welcome to my channel so in here we're going to continue from our previous video where we looked at a particular reaction outdoor reaction focusing on the zengman taxol reaction so this part two is going to be focusing more on the zengman taxol part and this part is really, really critical in terms of manipulating the temperatures of the system in order for we to favor one transition state versus another in this particular reaction here, we are using a ketone and we are going to react this ketone with a caposylic or a hydehyde, I'm sorry, hydehyde and this hydehyde functional group over here will be critical in order for we to arrive at a transition state where one part will be favored at low temperatures and while the other will be favored at high temperatures. This favored at high temperature is the E enolate transition state that is formed and the other one it is the Z enolate transition state that is formed and mostly we have a cis product which is actually this particular point over here and why the other product that is being formed over here is the anti product which is formed at high temperatures and this is known to be a thermodynamically stable product over here and this is more kinetically stable over here so let's look at the transition state for the enolate first the e enolate transition state and this particular enolate here we have two we have the favored one and the infavored one now the disfavored one is mostly due to the interference or I would say the steric hindrance between the two phenyl groups thereby by switching the phenyl groups then we are able to actually arrive at a much more stable transition state and take note that all these transition states because for the E enolate and also for the Z enolate we both generate a chair conformation which is quite stable in terms of the ring arrangement at the transition state region making it a much more thermodynamically stable so one of it is the favored one so this favored one we're going to have phenol at the top over here with the double bond over here and this double bond is going to be attached to this particular methyl group and a hydrogen pointing downwards and the other side we have a pH over here attached to this carbon, this carbon attached to the hydrogen no sterics, the pHs are all pointing in the anti-direction to each other and then we have this particular aldehyde while this is the ketone group over here the oxygen is actually here this is the oxygen and here is the aldehyde now this aldehyde over here note here that this oxygen is attached to the lithium which is actually this particular form over here and why this lithium has an interaction with this particular oxygen over here and then this particular carbon in here is has an interaction over here with this other carbon over there now this will arrive at a much this is a favored transition state and this favored transition state will lead to the anti product which is this over here with the double bond on the oxygen the carbon pointing towards me while this particular OH is pointing away from me and then you have the pH over there now the disfavored one of the enolate is or let me, do, let me try to make this reasonable by including this bracket over here with the transition state symbol over there now the other one which is the disfavored one is going to be this pH pointing up and then the H pointing down over there so if I redraw this what I get is a C H3 over there with a double bond and then the pH is over there and then we have our H at the bottom however this pH actually stays up over here comes down and over here 
rather is the H coming down and then we have a double bonded oxygen which is actually the aldehyde form and why this is a ketone form or the ketone form over here which is directly attached to lithium now the lithium has an interaction with this oxygen over here and there is an interaction here with this carbon over here but this is not favorable because of the steric hindrance which is this because of these two bulky groups present over there so since this is a transition state of the disfavored one this is going to give us the same product for the E enolate form that is actually disfavored and is not being absorbed so this particular product is not being absorbed out of the four possibilities of products pH so this is not absorbed however this one over here is absorbed so now the next one is looking at the Z enolate so for the Z enolate which is actually a low temperature favored transition state intermediate we have the favored one and this favored one has an intermediate or sorry a transition state where rather than having our CH3 like over here pointing up we have our CH3 actually pointing down and our H staying up so what that leads is the formation of this particular transition state with the pH at the top and our oxygen actually outside over here with the H and then for the aldehyde we have the pH over here with the double bond oxygen and while this oxygen connected to this particular carbon is this over here attached to the lithium this lithium has an interaction with this oxygen over there and an interaction with this between this carbon and that carbon over there so this leads to our favorite product which is our sin product and this sin product is in this nature where the C H3 is pointing away from me and the OH is pointing away from me as well and then the pH is on the plane over there so that's what we have over here as our same product however the one that is not observed this is for the favored the one that is not observed it is the anti form and the anti form of this E enolate is actually a flipping of these particular groups over here where the pH stays at the top and the H stays at the bottom. So, what we have in our transition state is the pH pointing up with the H and CH3. However, the pH over here stays at the top and then our H stays at the bottom and then we have our oxygen with a double bond which is the aldehyde form and then we have our oxygen which is attached to the lithium and this lithium has an interaction with the oxygen while this carbon over here has an interaction with this particular carbon over there so this transition state is being formed however we don't arrive at the final product which is the anti product so we don't observe a product of this nature pH 3 with the carbon 
CH3 pointing towards me and the OH pointing away from me. So we don't get this from this transition state but we get this particular product from this transition state over there and this one is not being formed over here however this scene is being formed from the E inolate at lower temperatures while this is being formed over here at high temperatures so this is about it for the transition states that is possible and uh, which one is favored versus which one is not favored at lower versus higher temperatures and these are the transition states that are highly favored at both temperatures all the same guys thanks again for watching my review and reactions of this particular intermediate or probably transition state of the inolates that are possible in our four way to arrive at these two products all the same guys Thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit the like button, share and subscribe with everyone around you. Have a good day guys. Peace, love you all and be smart.